kufungua mlango hata kunisalamia kanitisha maji nikamsaidia na maji akakunya akiwa tu hapo nikamwambia usingie kwa nyumba mhm akaanza kunishika shika matiti mhm na juu siku ni kwa vatu za black anza kumixa mko na kwa private part akaniambia nitoe pant na nikamwambia msitoe akanitoa na nguvu mhm alafu yakatremcha tu zake akanrep na kaenda kesi si ni nyingi zenye ziwezi vutika kwa akili yangu but mmoja ilikuwa ni msichana alikuwa amerepiwa na baba yake ule msichana wakati kila wakati alikuwa akiambia mama yake baba huwa ananisumbua alituambia huu um, mtoto kila wakati hadishi akiniambia mama unajua baba huwa ananiguzaguza baba ameanza kunirusha vidole kwa sehemu yangu ya siri mama anapiga mtoto anamwambia hii kitu naweza taka kuisikia na masikio yangu na ile siku utasema hiyo tena nitakupiga. Sasa mzee aliendelea tu kushikashika mtoto mpaka mzee akaona mtoto amefika mahali pa pa sex. Sasa akaanza ikafika mahali mtoto akawa mjamzito. Ile makitu mama aliona asaidie mtoto wake. Alimpeleka kwa Quax, akaenda akakorogwa, akachokoranishwa kwa bahati mbaya. Mtoto akiwa kwenye harakati ya hizo matibabu za Quax akakufa juu tulipata mtoto amekufa kuna venye tungeweza kumsaidia juu hata mama yake akikuja kuniita tuweze kumpeleka hospitali tulipata kila mahadi damu imetapaka atungeweza kufanya anything like for example the government says clearly that uh, if you are raped or if your health is at issue and you, your body, like your life being in danger, they have given a provision you can do abortion. But in reality, it's not felt here on the ground. Everybody demonizes and say abortion is illegal. The government uh, need to come out clear and support access to safe abortion because uh, when, uh, when they continue criminalizing abortion, uh, people and majority of women choose to go to the back street uh, uh, clinics. Kitwenye inafanya wende kwa the unsafe abortion, ile safe abortion is very expensive. Na unapata watu wa mtaani wana iyo do. So inabidi wana enda tuko ule kwa kako karibu, alafu najue hapa kukona ile system ya unalipo pole pole. Wona kama unatolewa maybe kuna thau mbili, wona atolewa kama msikiza ni thau tano, hiyo thau tatu tutabaki ukimtafutiaga. Tukizidi ku criminalize abortion, unapata quacks na wanachukua advantage of that. Kwa sababu zingine hata wanatumia, unapata wanatumia hanga kuvuta ile fita za makuvuta ile uterus. So na brother mtu anaingiza na msaidia juu nini anakuuliza? Are you got trained? Au kwa tipo abortion care? Hapo legeta counseling. Unaanza ku bleed, au kibleed na kuondokea. Akondokea na kubidi tu kimbizwa na kanjojo yenye umebleed excessively. Kanjojo kienda huko na kugeuzia. Anakuambia kwa anatoa mimba atakufa. Hata angalia life yake, hata ajuko ni kwa anatoa hiyo mimba. Jifu mo brep mo buzwa bendo huko mtaani. Na ni get. So unapata hiyo bleeding na analogy kwa madem wengi kudai. Na unajua hii community yetu venye tunakaa kuna nimesema kuna injustice mingi sana kuna rape ukisha rapeiwa what next kuna ule mtu anaweza rapeiwa na baba yake ile design hiyo ku, kuenda ku, kusema kwa hosi aezi ananyamazia akisha nyamazia what next what usually pains me most because i've dealt with so many cases is that when it comes to grassroots women it's seen as it's bad it's abortion but when it comes to also like the privilege of elitism and uh, privileged people can access let's say for example the kind of hospital there's a way the narrative is being framed like miscarriage but not abortion. When I depoliticize issues of people who are living in formal settlements and you don't have that privilege access to good health. So now the health in API is good for a certain class of Kenyans, not for ones who are living in ghetto. That's what I put a ghetto to abolish the shikwara kasana. Ara within a minimum time, so I can just come and I will go and review my tour. Ah, he is a figure chief. Chief, I say, but I got around and I could do not criminalize.
First of all, we need to empower the community, especially young girls from nine years. We need to the cow forums. We need to have a foundation. We need to have a facilities that are very accessible. We need to have organizations, and hospitals that are in a safe abortion, that are there and affordable. At least someone like you, like you, she's pregnant or something, she can walk freely. I love my beginning in stigma. Come on, I have to avoid stigmatize what to like me talk on a ball, it's an issue. But it's an issue. Be able to avoid stigma. But it's all about NLB, back to total and empowerment. So, like for me, what they should put in place is even with the local hospital leaders, let them have that mechanism. Let them have like a, um, doctors who are trained on how to deal with these cases. Like uh, midwives who are trained, clinical officers who are trained. And then we equip uh, the hospital with facilities and equipment that they can be able to access. So that if my, my health is at risk or I've been raped, I don't have to feel ashamed. I don't have to, to feel like if I go to this, uh, like say for example in Madara, we have nobody will criminalize me or discriminate me or tell me, where kufi I happen? But they should have like friendly clinics that are able to deal, especially also with teenage girls when it comes to these issues. To co ignorant, Nagava co ignorant. Nai mambo yuko, wacha tu tu accept yuko na inafanyika. Ju the more wana endelea ku kuto address hi issue inafanyika chini ya maji. Na vinyi na inafanyika chini ya maji, more women are dying and girls silently. Ju ni huzuni sana wakati na patana na muidi ya mtoto mdogo kwa mto. Ju hizo ni kesi zenye kila wakati zinafanyika. Ata juzi kulikuwa na mtoto wadikuwa hapa kwa mto na ukiangalia ni mtoto mkubwa. And I think the right time now also Kenyan women we rise against these men who make decisions on our behalf. They are not women. Ama wana jokushika bol ni nini? Ama wana jokushika bol ni naputu ya health at risk. Ama umerepiwa. Alafuka ina uyo mto hiu. Na then ina leti yanga mtu trauma gani za maisha. Ruling imepita juzi kwa tuini. Mekanizimu gani wa mewaka sijasikia wa kibonga. Huku ground. Enya nikena pala lakuna niko shua. Saini nikena pala niseme. Nimerepiwa na ndakutuwa hii bol. Ndakwa demonize. Yo ni koshua, si yungeye ati ni story, story ya manini. Yo ni koshua from experience. So, hizo ni bitu ambazo, uh, serikali, kizidi ku, ku, ku criminalize abortion, hizo ni baadhi ya zile bitu watakuwa wanadil nazo uh, forever and ever, kuhatarisha maisha ya wengi.